Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. It's Emmy. How are you? It's great to see you and welcome back. Today's video is sponsored by Helix Sleep. Helix Sleep are the makers of premium mattresses that are customized to fit your needs and preferences and conveniently delivered right to your doorstep. You can take the Helix Sleep quiz like I did and it will match you with the perfect mattress to fit your needs and preferences. For example, I happen to be a side sleeper. I prefer a firmer style mattress and I share my bed with my husband. And the sleep quiz will take my responses along with my husband's and come up with the perfect compromise. We matched with the Helix Sleep Dusk Lux and we've been sleeping on our mattress now for almost two years and we are getting terrific sleep. Our backs feel supported and we wake up feeling well rested and our Helix Sleep mattress is such an improvement to our old mattress which served us well but we inherited and it was really time to be replaced. Besides getting great sleep, what I really love about my Helix Sleep mattress is that it arrives packaged in a cardboard box which is great for us to move up and narrow flight of stairs and I was able to install the mattress myself and at this point my entire family has a helix sleep mattress and we're all getting great sleep helix sleep mattresses are fiberglass free and they come with a 10-year warranty and a 100 night sleep trial to make sure you love it there are also flexible payment plans and financing options Helix Sleep has a new high-end line called Helix Elite which includes six new luxurious models Helix Sleep will deliver your mattress right to your doorstep, and if you live in the US, shipping is free. So if you'd like to start getting great sleep, you can click the link down below or head over to helixsleep.com slash emmymade to receive 20% off your Helix Sleep mattress and two free pillows. Big thanks to Helix Sleep for sponsoring this video and allowing me to make better videos for all of you. Alrighty, my lovelies, today we're going to be baking some cookies, perfect for the holidays. I don't know about you, but for me, that means baking cookies in particular. I love filling my home with the smell of baking cookies. That sweet, lovely, cozy feeling and scent just makes me so happy. And I love that the cookie making can be a tradition that cements memories. Isn't that wonderful how food can connect us to our memories or kind of cements them into place. And then when we revisit the food, we're instantly able to travel back in time. I think it's just magical. Today, I'm gonna to be making two types of cookies. I think they'll be perfect for the holidays. One of them is Taylor Swift's chai cookies. And these sound fantastic. They're based on Joy the Baker's cookies. I'll put a link down to the original recipe down below. But we're also going to be making Mama Kelsey's chocolate chip cookie. Now. If you're not aware, Taylor Swift is currently dating Travis Kelsey, but I'm pretty sure you probably know that already. Travis Kelsey is a tight end on the Chiefs, American football team. Donna Kelsey, or Mama Kelsey, also has another son named Jason Kelsey, who is also a legendary football player. He plays for the Philadelphia Eagles. At any rate, Mama Kelsey makes these cookies and gifts them, and famously, in the last Super Bowl, which was the Chiefs versus the Eagles, she brought them cookies. I love that. So today we're going to be making Mama Kelsey's cookies along with Taylor Swift's cookies. It's not necessarily a battle, it's more a comparison. And because it's the time of year, I mean, more cookies is, is better, right? Alrighty, let's go ahead and get started. So let's begin with Mama Kelsey's recipe because that requires 24 hours of chilling and refrigeration. So this is a big recipe. It makes lots of cookies. We're gonna begin with three sticks of butter. So I melted my butter using the defrost function in my microwave so that the butter wouldn't get too hot. The recipe recommends that you allow the butter to cool for about 15 minutes before continuing with the rest of the recipe. Rather than doing that, I just gently melted my butter so that it wasn't screaming bubbly hot. Know what I mean? Add your brown sugar and your white sugar. Beat this for about four minutes. Then we're gonna add one egg yolk and one egg and beat that in well. Next, one tablespoon of vanilla. That's a big bloop. <laughs> Next, we're gonna add our baking soda, which we've dissolved in hot water. In a separate bowl, we're gonna combine all our dry ingredients. We're gonna combine our all-purpose flour and our pastry flour. Pastry flour has lower gluten content or lower protein, so it doesn't have as much of a chewy texture. So it's really great for cakes and pastries. Along with our baking powder, our cinnamon and salt. Just stir that all together. 
combine our dry ingredients to our wet in two batches. We're gonna add some milk chocolate chips, white chocolate chips, and some chopped pecans. And then we just mix that all together until it forms a luscious dough, and then put this in the refrigerator and let it rest for a few hours or overnight. Alrighty, so here is our chilled and rested dough. I find it very interesting that it contains both white and milk chocolate chips and cinnamon. So one of my favorite chocolate chip cookie recipes, it's the Double Tree Inn cookie recipe. I'll put a link to that in case you're curious. It contains a little pinch of cinnamon. And I thought, no, it's not gonna work, but it works. But a full teaspoon seems like a lot, but I don't know, we're gonna see how it goes. It says in the recipe to allow the cookie batter to warm up before you bake. So for smaller cookies, which I would consider this smaller, recommends baking these for eight to 10 minutes at 350 degrees. In our stand mixer, we're going to add some room temperature butter. Bloop, and we're gonna beat this for about one minute until it's nice and creamy. And whenever you're using a stand mixer, it's always great, or even a hand mixer for that matter, to scrape down the sides of the bowl. Now we're gonna add another fat. We're gonna add some vegetable oil. This happens to be safflower oil. Now we're gonna add two types of sugar, both powdered sugar and granulated sugar, which I find interesting too. This recipe is chai inspired, which simply means tea, but we're specifically talking about Indian style tea, which is often infused with all kinds of warm scented spices, ginger, cinnamon, allspice, nutmeg, freshly ground cardamom, clove, and some freshly cracked black pepper. Seven beautiful things, all in our creaminess. Oh, that means my cookies are ready. Okay, coming. Now we're gonna combine the spices into the fat and sugar. I've got my all-purpose flour here. I'm gonna add my baking soda and my salt to that and add it to my wet ingredients. So I've got a bowl of cinnamon sugar here. There's about a quarter cup of sugar with a half a teaspoon of cinnamon in there. We're gonna scoop a ball cookie dough, again, about one tablespoon, into the cinnamon sugar. So it's kind of like a snickerdoodle. And then press it down to about a quarter of an inch thick. Cute, beautiful cookies. I'm gonna bake these in my oven, and we'll come back and glaze them and give everything a taste. Oh, lovelies, I have, these, these things give me trust issues. Okay, audio died again. <laughs> Before I started filming, I changed my batteries, my rechargeable batteries, my Panasonic N-Loop, N-Loop, trash. My other ones were dying, which I had for years, but those were the dark gray ones and those were the N-Loop Pros and they lasted forever. These, these, these don't even last me one filming session. So before I started filming, charge these, just took them out of the charger. Didn't even last me an hour. So buy the Pro ones, okay? Don't get the white ones. Great. Sometimes you just have to release that and let it go and, and taste some cookies. So I baked both batches of cookies. I also made the glaze for the Taylor Swift cookies. Super simple. You just take some powdered sugar, add a little bit of grated nutmeg to it, and you can add milk, cream, or eggnog, which I think is genius. Spreadable, but not drippy. You know what I mean? My kitchen smells amazing, so let's finally give our cookies a taste. So let's start with the chocolate chip. This is like the double chocolate chip. It's white chocolate, milk chocolate, and pecan. There's the bottom. Kind of thin, lacy cookie. Look at that. Lots of brown sugar, so I'm thinking it's gonna be a little bit chewy. It's a Rakimas. Mmm! First of all, a freshly baked cookie is the best. Freshly baked cookies are my favorite and I really have a soft spot for chocolate chip cookies. And these are delicious. Buttery, chewy from all that brown sugar, yet a little bit crisp on the edges, but soft. I like the chew. The cinnamon is not overpowering at all. Goes really well with the chocolate chips. 
white chocolate chips. I have to say I was a little bit skeptical. I really love the inclusion of the pecans. There's something about the pecans and I'm guessing the cinnamon that make these almost taste butterscotchy. Oh, the white chocolate. Mm -hmm. It's a very nice variation of a chocolate chip cookie. Alrighty, let's try Taylor Swift's chai cookie. Here we go. Itadakimasu. Mmm. Wow, very different. This is like comparing apples and oranges here. It's not two different chocolate chip cookie recipes, so it's really difficult to compare them. This has the texture of a sugar cookie and a bit of that buttery flavor, but this is intensely flavored with all those spices we added in there and very much inspired by chai. All those flavors I feel are spot on. It's intensely flavored. The cookie texture is lovely. It's tender yet rich. And I really love the icing on top. Adds an extra amount of sweetness and kind of like a crackly top. Crackly yet melt away with a nice sweet intensity that matches really well with the flavor intensity of a cookie. This is a very flavorful cookie and I think would go incredible with a cup of tea, a cup of coffee, a little dip, and uh-huh. Mmm. Really cozy cookie. Both of these are excellent cookies and I think would make great additions to your holiday Christmas cookie box if you are making some for gifts. Delicious. I think your loved ones, friends will appreciate either one very much. Which is better than the other? I can't really say because they are so very, very, very different. But they are excellent versions of the style of cookie that they are. Alrighty, my lovelies. Thanks so much for watching and big thanks to Helix Sleep for sponsoring this video. If you'd like to get yourself a Helix Sleep mattress, please click the link down below or head over to helixsleep.com slash emmymade to receive 20% off your Helix Sleep mattress along with two free pillows. Thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoy that one. I hope you learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media. Like this video. Subscribe. And I shall see you in the next one. Toodaloo. Take care. Bye. <laughs>